Hey YouTube, Jim here. Welcome to Top 10 Archive. Some of our fondest childhood memories are marked by the voices of our favorite movie characters. For many, the years of old school Disney and Pixar movies have made stars of regular characters like the Clownfish, the Astronaut, and many more. Some of our sweetest memories include these characters, and they would be nothing without the voices we associate them with. So let's commemorate them by taking a look at the top 10 most memorable voice acting performances in movies. But before we get started, why not become an archivist today by clicking that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. If you end up enjoying this video, let us know by giving it a thumbs up and in the comments section, tell us your most memorable voice acting performance. Number 10, Eddie Murphy, Donkey. Eddie Murphy has one of the best voices in comedy. If you don't believe me or think I'm playing it up, go watch Shrek again. Donkey is definitely in my top five Pixar characters of all time. From his unbeatable energy to his self-love and confidence, Donkey is a character you can't help but love. That is entirely due to Eddie Murphy's performance as a voice actor. Watching him perform during the entire creation of the movie had to be equally hilarious. I'm in love! We're in love! We're in love! This is love! <laughs> like watching any of his old stand-ups, could you really picture anyone else playing the voice of Donkey besides Eddie Murphy? Are we there yet? No! Are we there, Are we yet? there yet? Number nine, Casey Kasem, Shaggy Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo, where are you? Regardless of how old you are, you must have heard the incredible performance of at least one of these two actors from Scooby-Doo. Casey Kasem gave that raspy voice performance with high peaks, which molded Shaggy into the character that we all love today. Quick, do something, Scoob! <laughs> In more recent revamps, Matthew Lillard has stepped into his shoes effortlessly, making it seem like he was truly born to take over the role. My voice sounded scratchy. So I'd be like, dude, zoinks, because your voice was so screwed up. Pull my finger. Uh-oh, too late. Whether you think of Casey or Matthew when you think of Scooby, the performances of this hilarious character were both wildly memorable and provoked nostalgic tinglies in just about anyone. Yeah, I said tinglies. It's a scientific term. Number eight, Gilbert Gottfried, Iago the Parrot. Gilbert Gottfried, as a toddler, must have been speaking for all of 10 seconds before his mother was like, get Hollywood on the phone. Okay, in all reality, he probably grew into that voice a while after reaching puberty, but how great would it be to know that you have a star baby who's going to grow up to have one of the weirdest voices in the acting industry? You got a problem, Pinky? I'll oh, give me a tissue, I'm gonna cry. This parrot could have sounded a million different ways. I lived with a family of parrots for a year. But now that we've heard Gottfried, there's just no better voice for it. Number seven, Ellen DeGeneres, Dory. You knew at some point you'd see Ellen on this list for depicting Dory. Dory marked a whole generation of children, many of whom can't ever swim without singing, just keep swimming. Who could? Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. What do we do? Dory is the most lovable character you can't get mad at when she gets you in trouble and who you want by your side to keep you happy. Ellen has the type of personality and voice that portrays all of that and more. I suffer from short-term memory loss. It runs in my family. Well, I mean, at least I think it does. The only downside has been that after Finding Nemo, there's no way to look at Ellen and not think of Dory. Number six, Jeremy Irons, Scar. Not many people are familiar with Jeremy Irons' face. His voice, however, is one of Disney's most recognizable characters. Oh no, Mufasa, perhaps you shouldn't turn your back on me. We all resented him for being a lousy brother, a terrible villain, and frankly, just an ugly son of a gun. Yeah, I said it. What was crazier yet, though, was finding out that lions with black manes actually exist in the wild. But that's a topic for a different day. Want to see who Scar really is? 
Look at the power of this man's vocals in contrast with his very approachable appearance. I quiver with fear. His performance as Scar marked every child that watched Lion King, and dare I say, every adult too. Number 5. Antonio Banderas, Puss in Boots I imagine the thought process behind who should do the voice of Puss in Boots from Shrek was very short. Someone said, well, this character is like basically Antonio Banderas in El Zorro, but in cat form. So, I figured we should ask Antonio Banderas to perform his voice. The end. One, two, three. Stick a fork in him. This cat is done. You made the cat angry. You do not want to make the cat angry. Had they chosen absolutely anyone else, this character would have been a complete failure. In my opinion, of course. Do you think anyone else could have done just as good a job? And what can I say? I was a bad kitty. Number 4. Tim Allen, Buzz Lightyear Ah, uh, Toy Story. Have you ever watched a Toy Story film and not cried? I don't know if we can be friends. It expertly pulls at all of our heartstrings and creates characters so close to our hearts that we start to need these toys ourselves. One of these great characters is Buzz Lightyear. In the first Toy Story, we felt for him as he became self-aware as the existential crisis overwhelmed him and his friends pulled him out. Would Buzz Lightyear be the same without this guy? His voice acting in the movie was so good, he's simply irreplaceable in any and all sequels. You're going into the attic mode, folks. Keep your accessories with you at all times, spare parts, batteries, anything you need for an orderly transition. The day they replace Tim as Buzz is the day I'll stop watching. Number 3. Billy Crystal, Mike Wazowski This one was clearly coming as well. Monsters, Inc. has so many memorable voices, it's hard to choose for this list, but I think we can all agree on one little green alien. Mike Wazowski was part bitter old man and part impressionable child whose reaction we were waiting for, wincing when he'd be cut out of the Monsters, Inc. commercial or covered with a barcode on a magazine. Poor Mike. Oh, he's fine. So, who's the guy who guided us by the hand throughout the whole movie? Billy Crystal is our man. I beat you! Get your eye, Jack! I beat you! Hey, such a place ain't bad! This is gonna be harder than I thought. <laughs> Number 2. Robin Williams, Genie While 2019 Aladdin had to settle for Will Smith, no offense to Will, Old school Aladdin had the great privilege of having Robin Williams as the one and only genie. What else do you want from a magic lamp other than a genie with an intense attitude, a joking spirit, and the voice of one of your favorite people in Hollywood? Robin Williams absolutely slayed this role, and we couldn't be more grateful to have that giant blue smoky genie forever in our hearts as the one true genie. Check out some of the actor's moments in the recording booth. Blow this popsicle stand! A doorstop would be a fabulous career. <laughs> Not bad! Good night, Alice! Come on, kid. See? Gotta get the snakes, eh? I never did it. Number one, Tom Hanks, Woody. Okay, so while Tim Allen did a wonderful job as Buzz, we all know that Toy Story is really about Woody. Woody and his horse, the dynamic duo, the handsome pair who are in charge of the whole Toy Story gang. Had Woody been voiced by any other actor besides Tom Hanks, I just don't think he'd have the reassuring voice of everything's going to be okay that defines him as a leader in the film. Tom Hanks and Tim Allen acted often side by side, which really raised the intensity of their performances and made their scenes all the better. Two heroes, one screen. Buzz? Our mission with Andy's complete, Woody. What? And what's important now is we stay together. We wouldn't even be together if it weren't for Andy. Look under your boot, Buzz. You too, Jesse. Whose name is written there? Thanks for watching. Or is it thanks for listening? Either way, voice your opinion now in the comments about your favorite voice acting performance. Name the actor in the show. And please help keep a lot of people hearing the voice of Top 10 Archive. Hey, that's me. For a long time to come, by subscribing to the channel, hitting the notifications bell, and giving this video a like.